Mm. Okay, this is all back on. I've decided to chance it for the time being um, with the uh, with the frame off. I'm going to see how it looks. Um, so now you have to take these off. Pretty easy. And underneath there. You're given access to the bolts. There we go. And then there's four of those. And then that, keep these safe. And then that wobble plate literally comes off. And then you've got access to the bolts there which take the Lone Rider box. Now I'm hoping this is exactly the same size as the 1300, and I'm sure Lone Rider are as well. I cannot see BMW remaking this plate. I would have made it, it would be cheaper to manufacture this the same and keep this the same, but we don't know, do we? Okay, I've genuinely not offered this up yet. I've just taken off the wobble plate. It's time to see whether this fits, whether the 1300 plate fits the GSA. Answer is yes, it does. <laughs> Bloody result, Alex, you'll be pleased. So there you go guys, the 1300, the 1300 plate that you get with, if you've upgraded your GS to the GSA, the plate from the 1300 from the Lone Rider Moto Box will fit. Bloody result. So that's the result. So I've applied some Loctite. I would be very, very careful here, guys. Because if you get these threaded, you're gonna fuck up that plate big time. Um, it's almost exciting and I want to do it quickly with the driver, but it's, to be honest, bloody suicidal. If you do, um, just go careful, they've already got Loctite on them from previous as well, so you won't know whether they're threading or not. So it's better off using your hand screwdriver, no how. Happy I am about using a driver. This is such good news. So this new bike will now take a moto case. You see that one's a bit tight. See by doing it by hand you can actually tell whether you're threading the damn thing or not. Hey, this is fabulous. And oh, I got so carried away, I forgot to bloody well bolt the friggin' grab handle on. <laughs> well, it's great news, bloody great news. This is on, so pleased about that. I think Lone Rider will be pleased about that as well. Um, now, the rest of the bike goes back together, pretty simple. Make sure you reattach the spare key device clips back onto there. Um, looks pretty tricky to be honest. Maybe you can look through the top. Yeah, you can. Look through the top and locate it 
which is easier said than done. There we go, done. Um, tuck away these two little clips. Don't think you can see, can you? Let's suspend the camera. There we go. These two little clips have to go down inside the front here. And then that fucking thing springs off. So they tuck in first. And then this has to go on afterwards. How many mechanics are going to leave this off? A lot. This one is thinking about it. Then it's pretty easy. If you don't clip that back in, you'll regret that one day. And then bolt the damn thing back on. Um, and that is poking around inside the new GS for a few hours, fitting Lone Rider top plate. And removing the ugly bits, revealing the bit the BMW decided not to paint. Thanks guys, loving that. Lone Rider, you need a cap for that or a frame over the top. I'm not even going to get the Lone Rider frames out because they're just never going to fit. But I am interested to see how this looks without the ugly bits on outside in a minute. Hold on a second. Let's get this beastie back together. Well, I've spent two hours today fiddling. I found the position for the sound bomb. I found the position for the Hex Easy Can. It's easy. Sound bomb split. Silicon hose all the way to the front, job done. I'll show you that soon. Subscribe and stay tuned. But I've removed the ugly bits, the ugly rack on the back. And I've put the Lone Rider top case on. You'd be pleased to know if anyone with a 1300 is upgrading to the GSA, the case plate fits. It's a bit tricky because they're gonna need to bring out some spaces for here and here, which I'm gonna have to get and modify. This is a bit annoying. They've painted around the ugly bit. So Lone Rider gonna have to bring out something to cover that when they bring out their frames. But look at it, a thing of beauty. Triple black, black box, doesn't get any better than that. Now I was gonna to ride today. Yeah, it's sat on a bit of a slopey there. I was gonna to ride today, but pouring the rain in Blighty. So I'd done that, and I thought you guys and girls would like to see what it looks like. I'm over the moon with it. Let's just give you a tour around this little bike. For those of you that haven't seen the other video, there is the cockpit. I don't have the key. Triple black. This is going to be subject to a bit of scuffing on a negative note, but the tank, whoo that is something else, isn't it? Brushed aluminium with lacquer. Guys, that is just so cool. And now those ugly bits gone. And for those of you that don't know what the ugly bits are, let's just fetch them. Let's fetch the ugly bits. This lump of cast alley was bolted to the back. Just in there. That is now gone. I mean, you could have made it black for God's sake. Call it a triple back. You could have made that black. I mean, look at it. It's a serious piece of engineering. That has got to be worth about 400 quid. 450 retail. But anyway, it's gone now and it's not going back. That is for sure. Lone Rider moto bags will be on this bike quick as, even if I've got to get some frames modified. The moto case suits the bike. Get a 
get rid of these foot pegs unless the moto cases are going to rely on them. There she lies, ladies and gents. There she lies. The triple black 1300 GSA. With the ugly bits off. I think this is probably the first one in the country, or the world even, because it's launch day today. I got it a day early to have its ugly bits removed. Talking of ugly bits, what are we gonna do with these things? These friggin' ears. Someone's gotta remake those out of carbon fiber. Because they're not, a f I'm not a fan of those. And this thing looks like someone's holding a sheet of Perspex in front of me when I'm riding. Well, it does on camera anyway. So that's got to be tinted. Other than that, she is a lump of perfection. Sorry to just hold the camera on it, but there's our people out there that will be mulling over whether they want this bike, mulling over this color. If you're mulling over this colour, guys, don't mull for long because it's unbelievable. This isn't, this is lacquer, unlike the previous 1300 GS where they just bolted on stickers. That is just a feat of engineering. The bike has been put together in a completely different way. It's a solid feel. It's designed for those corrugated roads in Australia. It's not, you're not shaking this thing apart. It is definitely a more solid feel. The beak on the front is thick, it's solid. The phone holder, jam sandwich holder, whatever you call it. Is solid, you've really got to give it a serious press. The whole thing is just a darn sight more solid. Come to taking this thing apart as well, whew, different kettle of fish. None of this clippity clip, snappy snap. These, unbolt that, unbolt that, unbolt that, unbolt that. This lifts off, got a big hole under here. So running cables, a dream until you get to here the most beautiful bit of the bike. Then you're in trouble because you can't run cables over that. So it's uh, another route time to think about. My route would be down the front and round underneath the tank, but that could involve lifting the tank. But we'll figure that one out. So pleased with that. So pleased. Thanks, Pete. Bons Woo -hoo, stop, stop. Thanks, Pete. North Oxford BMW Motorrad. Barnes, you nearly got me, didn't you? Yeah, Pete, you sorted this out yesterday. I know it's launch day today. I got it yesterday. First one in the country out. I cannot believe my luck. And how good does that look? Thanks, guys. Please subscribe. There's a lot more coming. There will be how to fit everything on this bike. A how to fit everything video. Catch you later. Subscribe. Don't forget.